All right, guys, we are in an unfamiliar setting. Welcome back to another YouTube video today. It is August 8th, 7th? 7th? Today's August 7th, I believe, and we are here at Heavy Metal Fitness in San Antonio, Texas. Um, this is one of the other local powerlifting gyms in town. And we're here because Pablo's back on comp squats, so um, this guy needs a combo rack. And unfortunately, ZKZ be stalling. Be stalling on my combo rack, baby. Like, I'm this close to just contacting somebody else and just buying another rack. Like, promises ain't being kept here. But anyhow, um, right now there's a nice little crew here. A lot of people working hard. It's a good environment, man. This is my second time here, but I haven't been here in a long, long time. Almost two years to be exact. So, anyhow, I have a double at six today. I think Pablo has like a single at seven. And then it's a bit more of a D-low day on the back down side of things. But I mean, obviously like, I did eat a little bit more calories this weekend just to kind of help with recovery. So it might, a D-low might not even be necessary, right? I train four times a week. I can mitigate things like that. So anyhow, I'm gonna set the camera up and we gonna just start lifting, baby. We gonna, we gonna have a good workout today. I'm gonna make a shirt that says, all right guys, that's all we say. If you like last video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and if you're new to our channel, welcome. Join the family, join the Olivares family. I mean, if you stand for something more than what is asked of you from this world, then subscribe. Because as men of God, we aspire to be better uh, individuals and walk the talk and put into fruition our actions. So let's get to it. Pablo do was he overcame a bad start. 
So between the two sets, Pablo was kind of having a bit of a, a hard time just getting his mind right. But what you guys just saw him do here was he locked it in, he blocked out the noise, he relied on his training, his fundamentals, and everything else took care of itself. This is a great example of how to, like, cause like there's a there's a difference between ego lifting and executing at your top notch. Now, if Pablo was on his A game, this would have been like RP six and seven, but we'll just call it on the seven seven point five side. Whoa, that was smooth, man. It was a smooth rep. But hey, guys, take your notes, write them down because Pablo just what Pablo just did, like he executed. That was his best rep of the day by far so that set the standard like that was a chef's kiss guys i've hit this before at a faster speed and a faster rpe this is only my second week being back from back squatting my technique was good everything today i simply just relied on technique nothing else i didn't feel the pop i didn't feel strong 705 felt like art like heavy so just take what I can, do back downs, and then progress from there. off top set right there i was gonna call it at 8:15 for two but after watching pablo's effort and his execution i had to match my brother's energy like i can't be taking it easy if this guy's over here not taking it easy you know like and but like i do want to exclamate we're not talking about ego lifting like as you guys clearly saw like those lifts are not ego lifts for either of us but it's merely the upper echelon of what we can do when we are executing to the best of our ability. So, squats moved really good today. Best squat day I've had in a minute. And you know, might have something to do with mindset plus a little extra cows, you know? But uh, I think we're gonna go to back downs now. I have a three by four at six. I think Pablo has, I think we're both just gonna take the back downs a little bit easier since we did push the top ends a little hard. So we're just gonna work on our foundations, breathing, bracing, hitting depth, the whole nine yards, baby. We don't miss, we don't miss a stone out here. We turn everything. But anyways, guys, maybe we'll go to a little commercial gym for some accessories. Or we'll do them here, I don't know. Welcome. I was about to say welcome to a new video. I mean, I guess this is a new video, but welcome to a new scenery, guys. We are here at a, you know, certified gold member. Yeah, guys, we're certified cloud chasers. Anyways, we're gonna hit our accessories here. <sighs> now that we don't have to freaking buy day pads or anything. You're damn right, boy. Would you like a shirt? Yeah, I Always make sure. Damn, bro, this goes kind of. Oh, the quality looks good in here. Black. Black. Those are some 900 pound squat of the legs right there. This man got some ham hocks attached to the hip. I'm 
Oh, you look pretty fucking squatty, bro. Your legs look massive. Huh? You look massive? Well, my style is more like that close. Now we're doing that. We can be like powerlifters, take us through a leg workout. So, a lot of times there's a stigma of powerlifters being lazy, not doing what they're supposed to be doing, simply just eating. That's it. However, some of us do like to take into consideration our appearance, our progression, how well. Huh? Stop playing. You do that too. I know, but we're still gonna work on Fine. I'm gonna stay still. Anyways. But, so like our appearance and most of all our strength right so we can't build our strength just well you can to a certain point however when you do these machines they what they do is hit the certain areas that are overlooked basically but those are important to the bigger piece right which is your lower body so leg extensions leg curls abductor adductor all of these movements all these machines are there to build that lower that lower end part of the movement that's a squat or a deadlift won't build so that's why it's important to do these machines and me let's put on some uh, anime hard style all right let's see what we got what way should we start at Fucking do the whole stack, bro. The whole stack from the get go. So first set done. As you can see, we put the whole stack on. So. If that's a gym bro PR, then I'll take it. So usually sets a rep range between 12 and 15. It's like the most juiciest, magical chef's kiss. Give me a little chef's kiss, Pops. Mm. All right, that's kind of <laughs> zesty. But. Get the camera out. Come on, get to work. Imagine if I arouse you so much. Stop. Your testosterone Stop. just multiplied Stop. a thousand times. Stop. Bro. Get to it's work. like. Stop. His power multiplied. Stop. It doubled. Stop. It tripled. No. no. Come on. Stop. Times ten. <laughs> You're a sick bastard. Come on. Yeah. But anyways, guys, we're just here having some fun. This is why we get weird DMs. It is now, bro. We get weird DMs because we're just good-looking dudes. Come on, bro. Did somebody say, come on, it's bro? Work. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Stop. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ooh. So, because this curl machine doesn't work the full stretch, it forces you to constantly be uh, to maintain a state of constant tension. So, you're losing that full stretch, but on the other hand, you have a wider margin of time under tension. So let's get, oh, oh, oh. almost Charlie horse. I need my gallon. Guy belt like a fucking skin. Hey, bro, hey, man. They don't need to this This guy's built like. I was about to buckle like a stallion. This guy's built like plastic, bro. Shrink up when you get some heat on them. Get loose. Wait, hold on. Nah, never mind. That's not how it goes.
obviously I will show y'all the leg pump. Oh, never mind. I am gonna show you the leg pump. Does it even look that good, bro? Just look white. It looks like you got some ham hocks. Uh, I'm not lean enough. Anyways, that's gonna conclude the workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But we hit squats at heavy metal. First time being there. Uh, super low key gym. Definitely, if you're interested in going there, like if you're not looking forward to like a packed gym, if you go there at the good time, then you're all set. So we did a leg accessories. We got a good pump. Guys, I can't stress this enough. Do y'all's accessories. You know, besides the working out part, it feels good, man. There's really nothing more to it. Uh, I feel very blessed and very fortunate to have a loving family and a loving God in my life. Because if it wasn't for Jesus Christ, I don't know what I would be doing right now. I think I would be literally crazy. Selling drugs. Huh? Selling drugs. You know, I'd probably be somewhere in the street, somewhere like, no, for real, like probably some, like, I was not a very good, like, you know, level-minded growing up. So I can't talk on this behalf. Anyway, Pablo used to be that kid who would go fight 10 seconds in the restroom. Isn't it? I was a very bad kid, you know, and, and I thank Jesus Christ every day for allowing me to, to be very grateful for the things that we have in our life. I think it's very easy to get sidetracked. You know, Jesus is at the gate, guys. So if you have a hard time believing that there's a God, you are entitled to believe what you want, but I'm going to believe the truth. No one goes to God except through Jesus Christ. So that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not a perfect person. There's times where I can I find myself very emotional and you know very sad because I am not doing the things I want to sometimes. And I do the things I don't want to. You know, if you know scripture, like, you know, basically sinning. So, every day, it's important that you ask God to give you a renewed mind, a, a renewed vocabulary, like, everything needs to be refreshed. You know, it's not just a one-time thing, oh, I have a ticket for life. Yes, you do, but there needs to be consistency and discipline in the Word of God. And you need to embody that as a human, as a human or as a man, or as a woman. If you guys are having a hard time and you guys are watching this video, like we try to inspire you guys as, as best we can. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And for the guys that are new to the channel, welcome. We really like to train very hard. Except for today, because today uh, we were kind of lazy. I mean, I, okay, we were lazy to a degree, but I mean, it was within the scope of the workout. Like, Today for me was supposed like my back down was supposed to be really easy. Like that's something me and Joey talked about prior to him giving me my block. Right? It was just me telling him that I felt really beat up Thursday. Just feeling the fatigue from volume. So we pulled that volume back this block and I think this block's gonna look pretty nice. Got some heavy sets on week four and I'm excited, you know, like I know I've been talking a lot about this and it's just it's been such a blessing. I can just feel the anointment that God has over our lives every single day. And that's something that we like to remind each other. You know, that's what Iron Theory is. And I guess this is the perfect time to share that with you guys. So a lot of you guys have asked us, like, why don't we change our channel to the Only Baddest Brothers, right? Like that's everybody, everybody else does that. We are living proof of the Iron Theory, like Iron Chopper Iron. And we're gonna interject what part of what verse that is, you know? And as iron sharpens iron, another man sharpens another man. And I wholesomely believe that God has put us through our individual experiences as well as our shared experiences as siblings to walk and share our life with you guys. You know, like we're not like yeah, I know we're like a lifting channel, but at the same time, like this is what we do for a living, guys. Like besides from coaching and social media and stuff, like this is this is the fulfilling part of our day. This is the fulfilling part of our lives. This is where we're out there and doing more things, you know? And I'm sure eventually we'll probably do some videos where we actually go and evangelize. That's something that I've been feeling on my heart. But I do want to be educated and I don't want to go out there sound like a donkey when I go out there and preach the word of God. But I digress. So when we're not feeling that anointment, like a good example is like when Pablo, 
because of the situation gets in his head and I'll just keep it short. When Paulo's having a bad day and it's easy, because trust me, it's really easy to lose sight of things, I'll remind him that we have God's favor. And when I'm going through my own crap, he'll remind me about God's favor and God's promises. And that's just like a short little way how we keep each other accountable and how we just try to keep ourselves centered on Christ, especially with what we're doing. You know, we're not perfect. There's times where we feel like phonies. We feel like uh, Pharisees, pariahs. But that's just the enemy trying to get into our heads, our hearts, our souls to dissuade us from just sharing what God has done in our lives, guys. And I'm proud of, I think that'll be like one of a video that we do because I don't think we've properly sat down and shared our testimony with you guys. And I think that would be a great video. You know, like you guys are just so enamored by our feats of strength. But you guys don't know the history behind it and how we are where we are. So maybe we sit down in our next destination and, you know, we just do two minute miracle, two minute miracle, and that'll be the video. But, all right, guys, if you guys watched the whole thing, please comment something that you guys took away, whether it be scripture, um, little nuggets, little tidbits. nuggets, I pointers. I think that's what I think that's what that means. Yeah. If you guys took anything away from this video, please. So Big Mac. No, just kidding. Oh, no, 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 Santa no, no, died, no, you guys. No, 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 You're no. big. Can't lose weight. That would be please. like you could pull it. The, no, no, no. <laughs> but overall, we're just very grateful and thankful for every single one of you guys. Like, we're not trying to be like the cringy like influencers. We're just regular people who believe in God and who like to train very hard. Yeah. So. Other than that, we Us are being freaky strong. It's just a byproduct of the work God has done through us. Yeah. So we're, I'm gonna do this video. Probably drop it today. I really like the. Day, it's not gonna be daily. It's gonna be like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Saturday or Sunday, something like that. I don't know. I just have a rhythm to it, but it's practically almost daily. Yeah. But so we're gonna do this one today, and then we train Tuesday, and then Wednesday we go to. We'll talk about that tomorrow. All right, guys. I appreciate you guys for watching. Codes, everything going to be in the description box. If you're interested in some coaching services, hit my line. I can get you right. If you're a super heavyweight trying to join the game, the fam, I'll get you right. Bro, we're the best super heavyweight coaches in the game, baby.